Oh, thank God you're here. What's going on, Janine? Where's Alyssa? She's gone. They took her. One minute everything was fine, the next it was chaos. Ghosts flying everywhere. Janine, slow down. Start from the beginning. Okay. Well, I was a little late this morning because one of the heels on my favorite pair of pumps broke, and Lester's was out of my favorite tea. You know how I love my chamomile. Well, and... Okay. Maybe not the beginning. Start where things went haywire around here. Okay. Okay. Somebody jumped me from behind. And before I passed out, I heard Alyssa struggling and yelling, Now! And the last thing I remember was the screams of the dead and damned echoing in my brain. So either there was a mass escape from Rikers, or someone shut down our containment grid again. Again? Just like Peck threatened to do. It's funny. I always knew that Peck was a pencil-necked bureaucratic prick. But I never pegged him as an evil occultist. But where did he take her? And where are all the ghosts? Cause, no offense, but if all the ghosts we've ever caught just escaped, I'm clocking out. Yeah, they would be awfully mad at us. Exactly. It's generally a bad idea for the guards to hang out in the cell blocks just after a prison break. This just in. As authorities continue to supervise the Thanksgiving evacuation of Manhattan, increasingly powerful tremors are rocking Central Park. The question is, where are the Ghostbusters? Uh, tell you what, kind of a nice day. Why don't we go to Central Park? Could round up some ghosts, save the girl, get back in time for a nap. Okay, the Ghostbusters ride again. Once, I wouldn't mind running with these other fools away from the trouble. Where's the fun in that? Any guesses on where we'll find Peck and Alyssa? I suspect that we're going to need this. And now we're in this level. Oh, oh this boy, level. This, uh, this level. Well, the whole level isn't bad. It's just this one particular part that's really awful. Yeah, we won't get to that part this video, but early next video, holy shit, I have some words. <laughs> and they are fuck and this and part. Pretty much, yes. I keep waiting for Venkman to just, just drop. Just completely just drop him. Even with that hundred pounds of proton accelerator. Ow! That was that was ow there. The if Venkman dropped him, he would have to be the one to go over. I'm just talking about like Venkman just pulling his hands away at the last second watching he watching Ray just flop over. <laughs> Because that'd be totally something Venkman would do. He, that'd be completely in character for him. Yeah. At the very least once. So, the game immediately wants you to hang a left here, but if you keep ignoring the intended path and just go up over here, you get your first collectible of the level. At Dana Barrett's building, the night she turned into a dog. Hmm. Oh, I thought the Andromeda Galaxy wasn't set to uh, collide with us for another couple billion years. Hmm. Oh, well. It was really weird living through the apocalypse in 1991. Yeah. The apocalypse in 2012 was a pretty good one, though, I gotta say. <laughs> uh, I looked it up on Wikipedia, and I've lived through at least, like, 17 or 18 end-of-the-world scenarios <laughs> from the time I was born. Are you counting Y2K? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, that was... That was a whole fun thing. <laughs> people honestly thought that zombies were going to rise during Y2K. Then again, people thought zombies were going to rise during 2012. Well, see, there actually was a s sort of a problem, but it was a very easily solved one, but 
It just went crazy nuts. It just got blown way out of hand. Oh, yeah. that was a fun then way to end that decade. <laughs> So yeah, the graveyard is actually a pretty big and confusing place. Once you know where you're going, it's a little more straightforward, but your first time through, you will probably get lost at least twice. All I have to say is thank god for practice runs, because even then, I still get lost at least once during these next two videos. Mostly looking for collectible shit. So I wonder where the ghost installed these gas lines for those lamps. Hmm. Do they have like a ghost contractor come in and do that, or...? I don't know, but we just collected the uh, iconic coffee mug and balloon from the second movie. Whoa, hello. Yeah, that's freaky. And I had right ah, away, thank fuck. you. Yeah, good. Good. Yep. We were just talking about 2001, so I guess it's appropriate. <laughs> was that game even out in 1991? No, it was 1994 or 96. I want to say okay. 94, because I'm pretty sure it was on the Genesis. I thought it was the Super Nintendo, but yeah, I remember that much. Mm. I've actually played... Uh, I actually get, took the time once to download... A ROM, ooh, illegal, of it and play it, and it's actually not bad. No, it's not a bad game, it's just that the translation is hilariously great. Uh. Speed it up there, Tiger. Alright there, Ocelot. Yeah. We don't want to stand here all day. Where did they even go? Um. To another crypt thing that's on the other side of the graveyard, I think? Hmm. Yeah, just send him alone. What's the worst could happen? You all right? How's that gate coming? So the entire goal of that was to just loop around and open the gate for the Ecto One. We could have just hopped the fence, though. But it has pointy stuff on it. What if you slipped? Huh? <gasps> Be a bad day. On the plus side, workman's comp. Do you think they really um, actually offer work? That's there's a hole right there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Big old man size hole. Oh god damn it! <laughs> rookie is just going. Oh fuck! This was just to keep the rookie I'm busy. I'm so and stupid. He's like, oh, we better send him off before he drops a tree on the Ecto One. If you're walking, you cannot get up those steps. You have to be running to get up those steps. They're just too steep. <laughs> uh. Wow. Just did not flinch at all. Damn. No. Damn, Ray. This happens on, like, a near daily basis. Come on. Ray is dead. You saw them too, didn't you? They think they're sneaky. Let's spread out and flank them. Alright, so I'm going to choose this time to bring up something someone said in the thread, is that they didn't like how you didn't trap a lot of ghosts in this game. Most of the stuff you just, uh, are like constructs that you blow up. And... I think that's an interesting point, and a fair one, but at the same time, if you had to trap everything in this game, it would get very old very quickly. Oh yeah. Like, if you had to trap absolutely every little thing, it would be awful. I was thinking, maybe a different direction this game could have gone is, instead of just having a whole bunch of ghosts, you could have one or two ghosts per level that you have to fend off at uh, certain areas, and at the very end of the level you get to trap them. Hmm. I'm sure they probably thought of that, and I probably discarded it for a reason, but, you know, I was just thinking. Yeah. And I'm trying to get this guy 
in the codex beforehand. Oh, and I started using the uh, Mizan Collider a bit more because I found out it's actually pretty good. Like, in general, it's pretty good. That's not friendly. Oh, and I never did try slime tethering tra ghosts into traps, even in my practice runs. I'm sorry. Oh, that's disappointing. Do the LP over. Start over. Shit. It's already taken long enough. <laughs> but it only took us, what, uh, three years? <laughs> or, I know we weren't going to bring it up, but whatever. I'm, I saw an opportunity. Yeah. Shit, it's a witch. <laughs> There's also another way to trap ghosts if you use, um... The creepy that baby head. Stasis, yeah, if you use the stasis stream when they're right above a trap, then they will just sort of gently float down into it. Huh. Yeah. I sort of forget the stasis stream exists by this point in the game. I think everyone else did, too. Fair. Oh no, the fat ghosts, uh, they are summoners. They will actually, like, summon those purple skull things. I think I forget to scan the purple skull things because they are a separate entry. Hmm. But yeah, there's a bunch of dudes here so the um, Mizan Collider actually comes in handy when you're dealing with multiple ghosts and you don't know where the one that you've been working on is so you just tag it and then go after it. And then the shotgun is also really handy because they like to hang around near the floor for some reason. I guess because they're idiots. So you'll see me switch a lot between the three different main weapons in this level because I've actually found use for all three of them. Hmm. And going back to what I said earlier, I'm guessing they discarded the old... Uh, like I said, they probably had the idea of like one or two really powerful ghosts that you just fight instead of lots of them. And if they discarded it for a reason, it's probably because they would have to redesign the levels just based entirely around that. And they probably didn't want to get into that. No. But that would have been a cool concept for like one level, though. Yeah, that would have been cool. Um, if they'd done the game like that, it would have made the sections where you get the Ecto-1 and just slam ghosts out just the tons of ghosts into it much cooler. Yeah. Not that those aren't cool already, but that would have been, you know, just really awesome. Yeah, I really wish you got to drive the Ecto-1 at some point. You never do in this game. They bring it up as a joke. Like, some time later. Like, maybe we should let Rookie drive. Nah. And I'm like, oh, come on. Music in this section is pretty good, I gotta admit. Yeah, I really like the music. In, just the music in general. So, uh, something we haven't brought up yet. What are your thoughts about the new all-female Ghostbusters that's coming out? To be terribly honest with you, I'm not real excited about it. Hmm. I just don't like remakes in general. Especially of a movie that's already basically perfect. I just... Yeah. I'm gonna give it a try. Like, I'll, I'll go see it in theaters, but, I mean, I doubt I will like it as much, but I'm still going to give it a shot. Those are tiny little baby skulls. Yeah, they are. That's real awful. But yeah, I'm just... I really don't see it being good at all. Not because it has a female cast, just because it's a remake, and... Those have really never, ever been good, with the exception of the John Carpenter's The Thing. Yeah, John Carpenter's The Thing was a really good movie. I don't really... It just... I don't know if you'd even call that a remake. It basically kept nothing from the original. Except from a thing from space can shapeshift. Huh. Yeah, that's metal as hell. Yeah. My god, that's so many baby skulls! This entire level is pretty metal as hell, to be honest. Oh, you dick! Oh, he went for Resident Evil on us. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, these zombies can actually leap into the floor and then pop up in later parts just to ambush you. It's not actually that big a deal because half the time when you're fighting them, you're fighting them with other ghosts and you're not really paying attention to that. So you just think it's a completely different en enemy. <laughs> There's the key. It's too heavy to carry ourselves. Get it back to the gate so we can keep going. This part's kind of annoying because this key doesn't really want to work with you. Ray, if you helped, we might actually be able to carry it. It doesn't look that heavy. You grab one end, I'll grab the other. Or you could just stand there like a useless piece of shit. That works too. Let's do that. If you had an intern, would you do any work, honestly? Mm, no, no, no. So yeah, uh, here are the big enemies of this level is just a mass of graves and dirt and fire and they are actually a lot scarier to look at than they are to fight because these guys <laughs> honestly aren't that tough you zap very right in the back there <laughs> is the frame rate going to hell or is it just me mm. I think it might be the game, to be honest. This level is actually really taxing on the game engine. Ooh, man. Too many particle effects, I guess. Yeah, these are the only enemies in the game that can actually hurt you as they're dying. Get out of here. Uh, because they have, like, as they're dying, they will spew fire, and if you walk in the fire, you will actually get hurt. It's not like, well, I'm dying, it's just part of my animation. Fire bad, Kalon, 2015. Wait a minute. This has been bugging me. When the necromantic shockwave summoned Gozer back to our plane, why didn't he assume a more effective destructor form immediately? I mean, the Marshmallow Man is scary, sure, but there has to be a better way to destroy the world. It's simple. When he enters our plane of existence, he must be locked into that form from our first encounter. One destructor form per god per dimension. I like it. Sounds like the kind of symmetry these things tend to operate on. Hey. So maybe I didn't choose such a bad destructor after all, huh? Look, up there. It's getting worse. How can you... It, it looks exactly the same. This isn't the Central Park I'm used to. I don't know. I think it's a little nicer now, actually. Hmm. They still have the statue of Balto, Balto though, because that might be a deal breaker. <laughs> I'm trying to get back there. I forget that you just have to go around this way. You can't go past that statue standing in the middle of it. It's a ghost fruit tree. Hmm. You can make ghost fruit jelly. Hmm. Jam. Ghost fruit smoothies. Ghost fruit preserves. Canned ghost fruit. Hmm. That means one of two things. Either we're in trouble or we're dead. That's both. Is there a difference? Hey, we haven't tested proton packs in the rain. That's well, we are now. Right now. Great! Wait a minute. I'm wearing one too. Oh no! That's true, Ray. How's it ah. so far? Do you smell any burning or experience any painful tingling? I am slightly irradiated. I'm pretty sure I am sterile. My genitals seem to be glowing. Is that normal? <laughs> So, they want you in this part to, like, pay attention to the crypts that are being flung into the air. And they're like, man, if they land, the enemies will appear. But it's, like, really fucking impossible to hit the crypts as they're being flung in the air. And it's just the, uh, claw zombies anyway, so, whatever. Otherwise, we have to deal with these! Take a bath, Betty. <laughs> probably haven't had one in a few hundred years yeah probably not anyway that's the most uh, dangerous part of this encounter taken care of immediately 
Now I just deal with these guys for the next couple minutes. Oh, uh, that was... Oh, jeez. Yeah, the frame rate... PS3 can't deal with particle effects. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's more of a result of the engine being really shitty than the PS3 itself. Because I've played Uncharted 3. I know what the PS3 is capable of. You know what Naughty Dog is capable of? True. I forget who developed this, but I'm pretty sure it's not Naughty Dog. Um, Atari published it. I forget who actually made it. Oh God, it's gonna bug me now. Who made, who made this? Oh well. And now we have to deal with another one of these guys. I don't think you were actually hitting him. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. I didn't get to mention before, but the, like the best tactic to deal with these guys is to, if they start charging you, just dodge backwards, and then once their health bar gets halfway down, you can grab the lantern on their head, and that damages them a lot. No! Now the ghosts are gonna get me! I <gasps> needed that. My nightlight! Can't sleep without my nightlight. Monsters under my bed. <laughs> So, Rookie may be dumb as a brick, but at least he's really good at eliminating ghosts. Because, like, the other Ghostbusters are really terrible at their job, as evidence right there. Yeah, Ray just stands there like, uh, should I get out of the way? Uh, nope, this isn't made for me. I like the lightning effect, actually. Yeah, it's really good when it doesn't make the PS3 shit itself. <laughs> it's one of the few games where lightning is actually, you know, impressive. Lightning strikes and everything lights up properly. I don't know if you've ever been near, this is basically the epicenter of a lightning strike. Shit looks like daytime for a while. Um, I'm trying to think of the closest I've ever been to, like, the actual lightning strike. I don't think I've been... Mm, I don't think I've been less than a mile, but... Uh, one hit a tree in my backyard once. Oh! Yeah, nice. it was very loud. <laughs> Surprisingly, the tree is still alive. Well, actually, the bottom half is. It kind of broke in half. And the top died, but the bottom was like, Eh, screw it, I'm just gonna keep going. Well, that is what tree do. Yeah, that is what tree do. Well, I say my house. It was my parents' house when I still lived there. So I don't know yeah. if that tree's still alive. I haven't checked recently. I'm not going to call my parents like, Hey, is that tree that got hit by lightning still alive? I need to ask <laughs> for a friend and the internet. So this fight's actually pretty hard. Whoa. And I may have died at least once trying to do it. Yeah, you kind of boxed in here. At least at the start. At the start, yeah. Once you get rid of this guy, everything's hunky-dory. It's just this guy is way more threatening when you don't have a lot of room to maneuver. What a jerk. Turn around. And then the rest of the fight is, I think, three or four of these summoning guys. High five? What are you talking about, Ray? I thought he said eyes I... high. Oh, I thought he said high five. Eyes high makes a lot more sense. <laughs> uh, this is why I'm here. <laughs> I really should have just switched to the shotgun there. Pass me, what are you thinking? Not much of anything, apparently. Yeah, probably not. Above you. I think this fight would have been over a lot sooner if I just concentrated on one of them at a time. Hubbly. Okay, 
Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm sort of glad this is the last level because we're running out of things to say. Well, not just just about this fight, really. I mean, what can you say? Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. I mean, we took care of the biggest thing, and it's just four of these guys now. We kind of been seeing them all level. They're not exactly new and exciting. That one had a slightly different haircut. Actually, I think it's that one there, but. You know. I think these are the guys that I said there was only one of in the um, in the library, like with all the mirrors and stuff. These are probably the same dudes, mm. so you get a lot more chances to get them in the codex if you missed them there. Ray, Ray, come on! You couldn't even take care of one of these guys. I've taken care of three of them. Yeah, see that one's got a that one's got a different haircut, and that he has hair. Uh, I think it's just a hood. Hmm. Maybe I don't know. I wouldn't really look at that closely. I'm getting, I'm getting my shit torn in by zombies. All right, we can finally move on. Jesus Christ. Well, hello there, Ray. You guys all right? Man, there ain't nothing dead in this grave. Um, Thanks for joining the party. I kind of want to say the opposite, actually. Stop us from getting to that mausoleum. We've run into plenty of dead things. Yeah. It's kind of what we've been doing. What have you guys been doing? You've been having a picnic? Because that sounds nice, actually. I want to be on that side of the fence if they're having a picnic. Come on. Open up the trunk. They got, like, a beer cooler in there. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Rolling on. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. I couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> well, you did save your butt white one time, but, you know. True, yeah. So, first up, obligatory... Spooky, scary skeleton. Yeah, so what you have to do here is you have to find the skeletons that are doing the same dance, and then you match them. It's basically the card-flipping minigame from Mario 3, only you have unlimited chances to do it because you have to solve this puzzle in order to progress. After that, it's pretty much straightforward, except for the part where you have to wander through a maze that is creating itself as you're walking through, and you just have to find the three ghosts that hold the keys in order to progress. Uh, enemy-wise, there aren't a lot of different enemy types. However, there are the grave golems that pop up, and they are a lot different. You have to boson dart them a lot, and then slam down their hands, at which point their head becomes vulnerable, and you shoot that. But that only lasts for a limited amount of time, at which point you have to start the whole process over. Uh, aside from that, there's nothing much else to talk about, so I'll see you all next time.